Good evening, everyone. A very warm welcome to tonight's evening prayer service, Friday, 3rd of September, 2021. As we are about to leave another day behind us, we continue to pray and bring the good news to your homes. Enter not into judgment with thy servant, O Lord, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. O Lord, correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. We sing. Well, let's sing together. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. The mercy for all me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a savior. He is mighty to say forever, author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. So take me as you find me.
confession. Dearly beloved brethren, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by His infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do, when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at His hands, to set forth His most worthy praise, to hear His most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary, as well for the body as the soul, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying after me, Almighty and merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from the ways like lost sheep, we have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no health in us, but thou, O Lord, have Mercy upon us miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises, declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name amen grant we beseech thee merciful lord to thy faithful people pardon and peace that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind through jesus christ our lord Amen. The Prayer of Light O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You're worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The Word, Psalm 145. I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation commends your work to another. They tell of your mighty acts. They speak of the glorious splendors of your majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful works. They tell of the power of your awesome works. And I will proclaim your great deeds. They celebrate your abundant 
goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. All your works praise you, Lord. Your faithful people extol you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all people may know of your mighty acts and the gracious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does. The Lord upholds all who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise his holy name forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 23, verses 1 to 7. These are the last words of David. The inspired utterance of David son of Jesse, the utterance of the man exalted by the Most High, the man anointed by the God of Jacob, the hero of Israel's song. The Spirit of the Lord spoke through me. His word was on my tongue. The God of Israel spoke. The Rock of Israel said to me, when one rules over people in righteousness, when he rules in the fear of God, he is like the light of morning at sunrise on a cloudless morning, like the brightness of the rain that brings grass from the earth. If my house were not right with God, surely he would not have made me an everlasting covenant, arranged and secured in every part. Surely he would not bring to fruition my salvation and grant me my every desire. But evil men are all to be cast aside like thorns, which are not gathered with the hand. Whoever touches thorns uses a tool of iron or the shaft of a spear. They are buried up where they lie. Here ends the reading. The second reading is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 12, verses 18 to 25. 
In the morning, there was no small commotion among the soldiers as to what had become of Peter. After Herod had a thorough search made for him and did not find him, he cross-examined the guards and ordered that they be executed. Then Herod went from Judea to Caesarea and stayed there. He had been quarreling with the people of Tyre and Sidon. They now joined together and sought an audience with him. After securing the support of Justice and trusted personnel, servant of the king, they asked for peace because they depended on the king's country for their food supply. On the appointed day, Herod, wearing his royal robes, sat on his throne and delivered a public address to the people. They shouted, This is a voice of a God, not of a man. Immediately, because Herod did not give praise to God, an angel of the Lord struck him down, and he was eaten by worms and died. But the word of God continued to spread and flourish. When Barnabas and Saul had finished their mission, they returned from Jerusalem, taking with them John, also called Mark. Year ends the reading.
The Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. Alleluia. Lord, now let us how thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles 
and to be the glory of thy holy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the commission, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We pray. O God Almighty, who cleanest the penitent heart and loses the tender conscious from the bond of antiquity. Pardon the guilty, heal the wounded, forgive their sin by thy sacramental grace, that they may suffer no eternal loss, but serve thee henceforward with a true and lasting devotion through the merits of Christ Jesus our Saviour. Amen. Let us pray, O Lord Jesus Christ, who by thy death didst take away the sting of death, grant unto us thy servants so to follow in faith where thou hast led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in thee, and awake up after thy likeness, for thy tender mercy's sake. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise forever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. Through him dark death has been destroyed, and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvelous light, may our lives reflect his glory, and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and thus promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, 
thou will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and penitentions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. We wish to thank Father Didier for his devotion in splicing the audios. Here endeth the order of evening prayer. Our final song is... Comment prier toi Comment prier toi papa Tomber à les ciels pour toi écoute moi la prière Tomber à les ciels pour toi écoute moi la prière Battez la main Comme au prier toi papa, t'ouvrir le ciel pour te écoute, moi la prière. T'ouvrir le ciel pour te écoute, moi la prière. Comme au prier à toi. Comme au prier à toi papa, t'ouvrir le ciel pour te descendre à mon côté. T'ouvrir le ciel pour te descendre à mon côté. Dans tous les ciels. Je pin de noir en place dans tous les quais. Je pin de noir en sang. Oh te disant de ne faire moi deux enfants. Oh de l'amour de ne faire moi deux trésors. Dans tous les ciels. Je pin de noir en place dans tous les quais. Je pin de noir en sang. Oh te disant de ne faire moi deux enfants. De l'amour, de ne faire moi de trésor. Me lève, me la mets. Me lève, me la mets vers de trop. Me lève, me la mets pour ma haine offrande pour fumer pour toi. Me lève, me la mets pour ma haine offrande pour fumer pour toi. Qui fait mon louange? Qui fait mon louange? Je t'aurai. Qui fait mon louange? Je t'aurai. Qui va me louer en ce cas par ciel dans mon égé Qui va me louer? 
Qui parle de 